In a previous video, we talked about multiplying a fraction by a whole number, and in this video, we're going to talk about how understanding that concept can help you with multiplying a mixed number by a whole number. Again, we want to relate this expression to a whole number multiplication expression. Let's take for instance the example of 4 times 27. Think of a student who may not know how to figure out that product. I don't even know the product of 4 times 27, but I can decompose as a strategy to multiply. I can think about 4 times 20, or 4 groups of 20, that's 80, and 4 times 7, or 4 groups of 7, that equals 28. Then I can join those two partial products together. 80 plus 28 equals 108. So 4 times 27 equals 108. I decompose the 27 into friendlier numbers in order to multiply. We can take that same idea and apply it to multiplying a mixed number by a whole number. If we have the expression 4 times 2 and 3 fifths, we can decompose or break apart that mixed number into a whole number plus a fraction. 2 is the whole number and 3 fifths is the fraction. First, we can multiply 4 times the 2 wholes, and that is a simple math fact for most students. Then we're going to multiply 4 times the fraction 3 fifths. And guess what? Your students will know how to do that as well, because in the last video we talked about how to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Let's review how to do that. One way is to guide your students towards making the connection to repeated addition or equal groups. With 4 times 3 fifths, we can skip count the 3 fifths 4 times, such as 3 fifths, 6 fifths, 9 fifths, 12 fifths. Or many students may know the math fact of 4 times 3 equals 12 right away by multiplying the whole number and the numerator, then connecting it back to 12 fifths. Lastly, join those partial products together just like before. Add the 8 and the 12 fifths together, and you now have 8 and 12 fifths. This is a mixed number which does have a fraction greater than 1. This can be left the way it is or can be converted to a mixed number without a fraction greater than 1, which I've explained before in this video here. I'll put the link in the description below. Let's do one more example to help build up that confidence you want to have while exploring this skill with your students. The expression is 8 times 7 and 5 6. Again, you can decompose that mixed number into its whole number and its fraction. 7 is the whole number and 5 6 is the fraction. 8 times 7, that's the math fact, equals 56. The next part is multiplying the 5 6. So 8 times 5 6. Okay, think of it as 8 groups of 5 6 or just 8 times 5. That equals 40. So this product is 40. Six. And now you have another fraction greater than 1, which again, your students can convert before adding it together with that whole number. 46 converts to the mixed number 6 and 4 6. Finally, add 6 and 4 6 to the 56. 56 plus 6 and 4 6 equals 62 and 4 6. 4 6 can be simplified. If you need to learn about teaching your students different ways to simplify fractions, watch this video here. Again, I'll put the link in the description below. I want you to continue practicing the skill now before you work on it with your students. So here are three more examples of multiplying a mixed number by a whole number. 